What's up guys, welcome back to If I Chronicles. In this video, we're gonna be farming Tyco, which is a type one ZK EVM that is backed by OKX, Sequoia Capital, and also KuCoin and various others. Uh, but basically these are the largest backers that I see that they currently have. So we could say that this could be a pretty massive project. And I know that the token is confirmed, which will be TTKO. So hopefully just by getting involved with the test net, we might receive some airdrops. Um, so right now they're running on Alpha 3 test net. So they already had the number one, number two, and now they're on number three. So for you to get involved with it, first you will need some Ethereum, Gorilla Ethereum on Sepolia. So first thing that you can do is go to DeFi Chronicles dot xyz slash faucet which is my website you can click on eth sepolia so you can add the network and also claim some faucet tokens we have various options here in case you're not holding any um ethereum on mainnet then you will not be able to use alchemy and quick note but on the other hand you will be able to use triangle platform i'm not going to show you how to do it because again it is fairly simple and i already have some tokens on my wallet. So number two, go to tyco.xyz. From there, you're gonna click on bridge. This is what you're gonna find. Okay, so now we are on Tyco. You're gonna connect your wallet, switch to Sepolia. Then you're gonna claim some faucet tokens. Of course, that is after having or after getting your girly tokens on Sepolia. From there, you can claim some bull tokens. It is only one, so you, you'll be receiving 50 bull tokens and 50 horse token. I'm not able to, to claim it because I already did. From there, you can go to bridge and add the amount that you want to bridge. So for example, I have some bull tokens. I have 50, I would add any amount, then approve and then click on bridge and send it. Usually it takes a while, so you have to be very, very patient because um, last time that I did it, it actually took me like three hours for me to receive it on Tyco. Uh, but again, you can do the process. You wait a little bit and um, you, can, you come back to it. From there, you can then switch to the Tyco network. In case you don't have it, you can just go to chainless.org, then type Tyco, click on include testnet. Let's see. Tyco, okay, so you need to click on this one, Alpha 3 Testnet, add to MetaMask, and that's it, it will add it automatically to your wallet. Then you can remove it. So from there, you should have your tokens on Tyco. And now the second step is actually to use the ecosystem or to take some swap. So we can click on Docs, go to Swap Tokens, click on Navigate to Swap test.tyco.xyz let me remove the bridge then as you can see since I was on Sepolia it will ask me to switch switch my network and here I can take some trades so for example we have the bull token the TTKO so let me just try with the bull token I'm gonna do 0 0.1 I'm gonna swap confirm And as you confirm here, transaction submitted. We wait for a little bit to get it confirmed. And from there, we're also gonna be adding some liquidity using those two tokens. As you can see, I already have some for ETH TTKO. Let's do add liquidity. Still have to wait. Let me see if I can speed this up a little bit. Did it went through? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Bill, I'm going to click max. Let's go ahead and approve the transaction. Next, approve. We wait for a little bit. Again, same process so we can supply some tokens. Let's see. Usually we also have the option to speed it up. So let's go ahead and do that. And we wait. Let's 
still waiting. Looks like I got approved, I think. Let me go ahead and refresh. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, we can confirm the supply. So once you click max on the second one, it will add the amount that is needed for Ethereum automatically. So that's how I usually do it, just for simplicity. Let me try that again. And again, since this is running on testnet, you might get some errors, some bugs that you will, that you might have to wait a, um, a few minutes, even a few hours, and you might have to come back to it to complete the process. So as you can see, currently I'm having a bug for adding the liquidity. And yesterday I did have some issues to also add the TTKO. So yeah, let's see, let me try with a thousand. So same thing, it is still not confirming, but in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you something else. Um, again, so simple process, just come here, do some swaps, um, go to the pool, and then you can add some liquidity. So basically we have some one swap or two swaps and then adding some liquidity, and that should be more than enough for you to get involved with the project. Next step is actually deploying a contract on the Tyco network. So you can go to docs or uh, that website there. I'm gonna um, paste the link in the description. Then they will be giving you a simple, very, very simple contract on um, Solidly. So I'm gonna click open in Remix. Here. Okay, so here we have it. What I'm gonna do is change this to DeFi Chronicles. And for the token, I'm gonna do DCS. From there. Double check. Let's compile. Perfect. So once that is done, just come here and you're going to be deploying your contract. Make sure that you are on Tyco. So I'm going to click here. And it should actually give me the option to open. Let me see. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. So first you need to click on injected provider MetaMask. Let's come here, next, connect, and let me do deploy again. Again, as you can see, I'm being charged, but it is on Tyco, so since it is on testnet, I'm actually not paying anything for it. Let's go ahead and click confirm, and that's it. It is creating the token, nothing else. So this is completely optional, but since it is so easy, it will take you actually just what, maybe a few minutes to do it, you can actually go ahead and do it. Then that's it. So I have my contract right now deployed on Tyco. You can do actually the same process for any other blockchain that you want. Of course, if it is a blockchain that is running on mainnet, then you will have to pay some, ga to pay some gas fees. Uh, but if it is on testnet, you'll be paying in testnet tokens. So here we can actually remove it, go leave, Let's remove this. Let's see if now I am able to add the liquidity. Let's see, confirm. If not, actually we would have to look for another token. No. Let me go ahead and see what else we have. So I also have horse. Oh, it did. Here it is. Here it is. Confirm. So now it is creating the liquidity. So I should have it in just a few seconds. So in the meantime, while we are wait, wait, waiting, what we can also do is run a node on Tyco. And I know that some people are gonna be getting paid for running a node, but the only thing is that you will have to spend some money um, to pay for 
the cloud computing. So here they have some a guide, pretty cool guide, so that you can follow and do it. But again, you will have to pay for it. But currently, I think there is only 69 nodes running on Tyco. So there is really, really the need for some more nodes. I'm also going to add a link for a video guide from another person that I find that is really helpful. So if you want, want to run a node, you can actually use um, that person guide as an example to run your node on Tyco. And if in the future I create also a node, I will be creating a video on it to show you guys how you can do it. Let's see. Still pending. So as you can see, it didn't went through. Nope. Let me do something simple since it was working yesterday. Let me do one. Let's do swap. Nope. So again, this is some of the issues that you might have on Tyco. Because again, since it is running on testnet, you would have many, many, many bugs. Double check again. 0.1. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It is 0 0.1 here. Let's see. So again, super slow. Let him confirm. Let's go to pool. time I'm gonna refresh just to see if I have it and we're still waiting No, it looks like it didn't went through. So again, I'm not gonna spend 10, 20 minutes just to show you how to swap. But again, if you get into um, those errors, you can always go to their Discord group to let them know that there is an error with the swap or wait a little bit, come back to it and do some swaps because um, I had that issue yesterday for bridging and also taking some swaps. Uh, but the only thing, um, even though that it is not working, still try to do it because I do remember that last time that I wanted to try Alpha 2 testnet. Um, I had some errors also and I waited and the next time that I came back to it, it was not available anymore. So always make sure that you use it even though there is some errors. That's why they are running on testnet. So that's it. So hopefully um, this guide is helpful enough. If it did help you in any way please share it with a friend like subscribe and if you have any questions please leave it in the, in the comment section talk to you later bye bye